Day two of the Cotton Bowl trip got underway in the morning. Texas A&M was right back at Cowboys Stadium for media days. Several players and Coach Sumlin met with the press to answer their questions about the upcoming contest on Friday night against the Oklahoma Sooners. 12th man TV turned things over to a little bit of a reality reporter. Here's the coverage from defensive lineman Spencer Neely. 12th man TV on my first uh, interview tour. We got some live action going on, let's go. Excuse me, excuse me, Johnny. How does it feel to be the man? Uh, Spencer Neely, it feels good. It feels good to just be in your presence. And hey, you're, uh, you're not allowed to just call the reporters by their names. Mike Evans, 12th man TV. Can you please tell the media, can you please tell the media why you drop only passes that you're wide open on? I, I don't know, man. This, I, don't, I just don't know. This one's going to be good. But, uh, you know, everything, every, you know, everything starts with Patrick. You know, Patrick Lewis. Luke. Every call. Luke. The general Patrick Lewis. Down loneliness to him. Does, is that... Am I reading that right or wrong, or does he sort of have a, an everyman quality to it? I think, uh, <laughs> I think, I he, Wait, what's so funny? We're going in hot. We're going in hot. Nobody shows the lineman enough love with uh, 12th Man TV. Just uh, want to ask you all a few questions. How does it, how's it feel to be an offensive lineman for Johnny Football? It's amazing. It's amazing? Come on, Sid. It's cool. I mean. Sid, why are your arms so small? <laughs> Look at the camera, see. What, the camera's just ran hot. Joe, what's up? Why are you wearing your pants? Why is no one else? <laughs> you gotta put it on for the picture. Oh, we're going in. We're going in. Quickly, quickly. Coach Sumlin, hey, 12th Man what's TV, up, Spencer Neely, how's it going? Great, great. So how's it feel to be in Dallas? Huh? Pretty good. How's it feel for you? You know, just good to be here. Happy to happy to be out on this field again. You know, it's a, it's a great honor. It ain't gonna be over for a while for the general, right? Four-star general? <laughs> Will you please tell the please tell the camera that's your nickname, the general? Uh, it's a nickname. Patting down. <laughs> it's a nickname that Spencer gave me a while back. He just called me the general. I don't know why, but he called me the general. The general, Patty Melt. Pat's just the man. Look at him. Look at the, how can you not love Pat, man? Don't interrupt him. Uh, telling us where to go. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> and Come on, let me finish this. <laughs> <laughs> They're getting mad. All right, Spencer Neely, 12th Man TV. Live at uh, Dallas Cowboy Stadium, AKA Jerry World, we're out. Spencer Neely, a true professional in the business. Not only did the team meet with the media, so did Kevin Sumlin. Also, the team took time for their photo. Entire squad gathered, coaches, managers, trainers, staff, and every single player. A team photo that I'm sure that they'll keep with them on the wall for quite some time here at Cowboy Stadium. After all of it was done, AM headed over to a place they've been before already this year. Practice at 3 p.m. was held at Gerald Ford Stadium on the SMU campus. As Sunday afternoon hit, the Aggies moved outside for their first of four practices here in Dallas. They practiced for a little over an hour or so in full pads and a very impressive crowd out here to watch them. A crowd of about 500 fans braving the elements to watch their Aggies take part in the practice session here at SMU. And that will do it for day two's coverage of the Texas A&M's trip to the AT&T Cotton Bowl Classic here on 12th Man TV. A reminder to stay tuned to AggieAthletics.com and 12th Man TV all week for exclusive behind the scenes insights and activities as the Aggies get ready to take on the Oklahoma Sooners here in Dallas.